Hi everyone, it's Eva Pietrzak here from Abundant Results Coaching and today I'd love to share with you a very powerful concept in the science of goal achieving and namely decision making. There's a lot to be said about making powerful decisions and today I'd love you to consider stating your New Year's resolutions or your goals as in the form of committed decision. Napoleon Hill, who wrote the, the uh, Think and Grow Rich, uh, where he analyzed 500 people, 500 most successful people in the world in 1920s, like Henry Ford, Thomas Edison, Thomas Jefferson, Rockefeller, and uh, Carnegie himself, he, um, he stated that all of those successful people make decisions quickly and they make them from the point of where they want to get to rather than what circumstances they have right now in their life, whether they have enough money in the bank, whether they have enough time in their diary, whether their spouse says yes or no, whether the economy suits them, they just made decisions. So let's say when Henry Ford uh, created the eight-cylinder engine, he didn't know how he's going to do it. He made a decision to do it and then the how came to him. And very often when we have big goals, we, we struggle with uh, actually understanding how am I supposed to fulfill that goal. And the how of your goal only happens when you make unconditional decision and you start moving. So when Henry Ford decided, I am creating this eight-cylinder engine, his mind flipped onto a different frequency of thinking and he started creating a plan or attracting the plan. So let me share maybe uh, another real-life example with you. Maybe you can resonate with that. Let's say you decide, I'm going to Hawaii and I'm taking my family with me. When you make that firm committed decision and you state the date, you plan your, your uh, trip, you organize the money to purchase the tickets and so on and so forth. So you make a decision first and then you work out the details. But, but very often when it comes to our New Year's resolutions or our goals, we make what we call on the conditional decisions. So I'm going to do something as soon as something else happens. So for instance, maybe I'm going to write, draw a little diagram. It's going to help you understand better. Um, right. Sorry for the quality of this, but you're going to, you're going to see what I'm talking about. So Let's say you're here and this is your present uh, state of results. Maybe you are in corporate world, you're an employee and you're dreaming to have your own business and your business is that big goal here, right? So you make a decision, this year I'm setting up my business and then you're saying to yourself as soon as, forgive me my awkward arrows, <laughs> as soon as my kids go through school. As soon as I have more uh, enough savings in the bank, as soon as I have enough time in my diary, as soon as my wife agrees to my goal. And that as soon as happens quite a lot, it's that battle, and then uh, it's a battle internally, and then that goal becomes weaker and weaker and eventually dies out. If you want to do something that you've never done before and you're very much wanting it, you've got to make what we call con a committed decision. There is no going back. It's like I'm going to do this and I'm going to figure it out at all costs. Um, there is no as soon as. There is no I need to have enough money in the bank. I need to have my spousal agreement. I need to have time. That's not how most successful people make decisions. You make a decision and you stick to it and that's and only then your mind flips onto the frequency of thought of what you've decided and you start creating a plan. So this is how all successful people are creating results and creating goals. But majority of people all over the world, when they state New Year's resolution, they depend on certain circumstances and they don't make those firm decisions. So I want you to ask yourself, how are you making decisions? Are you deciding and that's that? This is what I want. I'm deciding to hire an employee this, this uh, year or within the next few months because I want to grow my business and I want to work less and earn more. I'm deciding to start that business and I'm already taking steps towards it. And 
Doesn't matter how much money I have in the bank, doesn't matter how much time I have in my diary, I'm doing it. I'm deciding to move country. I'm deciding to attract that love partner. I'm deciding to shed the weight that I've always wanted to shed, but I've never decided. It was like, as long as I have enough time in my diary, as long as such and such happens, right? Are you making unconditional decisions, committed decisions when it comes to your goals? If not, you may want to start doing that because not only the circumstances that stop you from uh, from taking action and moving towards your big worthy goals will keep repeating themselves if you give them so much strength, but also you're not even um, attracting ideas to move to your goals when you don't make those committed decisions. You don't even know the how because the how only shows up for you when you make that decision. When you make a decision to fly to Hawaii and take your family with you, that's only when you start planning the details. And if you need to get the money, you get the money. If you need to uh, uh, get the time, you organize the time, not the other way around. So ask yourself, are your New Year's resolutions committed decisions or are they kind of conditional hopes and wishes Uh, that may fall through within the next three to six months. And if you understand that they have may have been conditional, you really want to reconsider that so that you can really fulfill those goals this year. Now, decision making is only one element of the science of goal achieving. And this month is a very special month. I'm truly excited to be rolling out several events offline and online to share with you more concepts that will allow you to move towards your big worthy goals. So if you're a goal achiever, if you're someone who is looking for that life purpose, that amazing goal that will get you off your bed in the morning. If you already have one, but you would love to get a plan and move yourself a lot quicker towards that goal, then I'd love to invite you to join me for a series of online and offline events this month. So we're starting with Roadmap to Success live event here in Dublin this Wednesday. Um, 8th of January between 7.30 and 9.30 p.m. Irish. And then we will repeat the same event online on the 15th, which is Wednesday next week, 15th of uh, January between 7 and 9 p.m. So if you would love to learn a lot more on how to set the right goal and how to fulfill all your goals this year year, so that these New Year's resolutions actually become real, then definitely join me and let's learn step-by-step what I've learned from Bob that allowed me to transform my life and you can do the same. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video inspires you to reconsider your goals and make them un- make them unconditional and committed. And also you will join me for more on the science of goal achieving this month. Take care and have a phenomenal week.